Good evening. Yes, yes, yes. It's a great day in Unit 4. We have amazing things happening across the system and even tonight um, with our hires and things of that nature, so it's exciting. Um, so I want to start with why we do what we do. Unit 4 salutes the class of 2023. May 30th, we celebrated the class of 2023 uh, from Central and Centennial High School. It was joyful. It was amazing. It, the student speakers brought tears to my eyes. They reminded us of what we do and why we do it. We had um, over nearly 580 graduates um, as they were moving on to college, career, or military endeavors. It was just, it was an outstanding evening. Um, and so this is, these are the moments that remind me of what we do and why we do it. So and thank you to all the board who, were, who was able to be there to hand off um, the diplomas and all the staff members that made it happen. Um, we also want to say congratulations to Bottenfield first grade teacher, Caitlin Shamhart, for being named Teacher of the Week by the News Gazette. So there she is with her kiddos. Let's give it up for <laughs> Caitlin. And we want to salute our special education teacher, Mr. Mike Slager, for being named Teacher of the Week for the News Gazette. Outstanding. And I'm telling you, we've got great things happening. So we've got state champs all over the place. Um, the Centennials boys track and field team placed third out of 68 teams in the 3A division. Mr. Daniel Lacey is a state champion in the 100 meter, the 200 meter, and the 400 meter. I'm tired from just saying that. <laughs> the Triple Crown has only been done by six other people in the history of I. HSA track and field. When we do things in uniform, we do it right. And um, Valdi Makabu, I pray I said that right, in his first year high jumping as a sophomore, gave us 10 points by winning the high jump, jumping six foot, six feet, eight inches, and helping the team secure a third place trophy. Awesome. <laughs> and all the, by the way, I wore my medal all last Friday. They brought me the medal, the third place medal, and I wore it proudly last Thursday, doing some interviews, and I had it on. And then they promised me they were going to bring me a gold next year. So I said, OK, I'll take it. <laughs> Um, also, we want to salute our Champaign um, Central Maroons baseball team, our sectional champs, and um, I, I was oh so hoping we were going to go ahead and go further, but they had an outstanding season. Congratulations to these young men um, and a lot of the seniors, and so they, they did the Champaign Unit 4 proud, and so I just want to say congratulations to them and to their coach and to their families. Um, whoo! Amazing, so I'm just proud of them. So congratulations. <laughs> and with great, to um, with great teams come great coaches and athletic directors. So we want to say congratulations to Coach Justin Barnhart for being named the Illinois Athletic Directors Association Assistant Athletic Director of the Year. Ooh, that was a mouthful um, for, for District 5, for our, for our district, um, and, the, and I, I do mean athletic district, not Unit 4, but you know what I'm saying. So in addition to serving as the Assistant Athletic Director, Mr. Barnhart has taught PE for 22 years at Centennial and is the Associate Head Coach for the Chargers football team. So way to go, Mr. Barnhart. Hey, Unifor's on the map, y'all. Look, Governor J.B. Prisker, he, they called us and gave us a three-day notice that they wanted to come to us, and so we had to get things together. So a shout-out to our communications team, our IT team, our O&M, to IPA and their administrative team, because when he came to visit, he was like, okay, this is what we got to do. So I apologize for any late notice, but, you know, you just do what you have to do. So we, he highlighted the state's investment in early childhood education, a new teacher vacancy grant pilot program, um, which comes with a lot of money for us, and we can be kind of creative on how we spend that. So um, we're going to 
be thinking about that. Um, and an evidence-based funding, he utilized that he increased that. He, um, he, accompanied, he was accompanied by Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton and State Superintendent Dr. Tony Sanders. And so I also want to give a shout out to CECC Principal Cheryl Deering and our parent, Ms. April Carter, um, for their impactful words. They were outstanding. And so I just want to say thank you to them um, and thank you to our governor for um, keeping education in our earliest and our youngest learners at the forefront. So really exciting. So we'll be speaking a little bit more about how we're going to utilize the funds for um, the, re the recruitment of, for new teachers, for more teachers and other programs and things of that nature. So stay tuned for that. Um, also, we had an amazing teacher signing day. Um, we uh, were able to welcome new educators to the district. Um, we're excited for the new teachers joining our system. Um, there's room for more on this team. If you so desire, you want to be a part of the best team there is, the most amazing district in this area, or if you know someone who is interested in joining Unit 4, uh, what do we need to do, Mr. Kleber? <laughs> We actually just refreshed all the postings today, so you can apply online, champagneschools.org slash employment. There you go. Any and every kind of position you're looking for, I bet you we have it. And I think we pay pretty well, too. We do. <laughs> <laughs> we are competitive with many suburbs. Yes, we are. All righty. So... Unit 4 celebrates Pride Month. The month of June is Pride Month. Um, and Unit 4, we understand the social justice as a continual commitment to thoughtful consider and act, to, to thoughtfully consider and actively challenge societal norms that privilege some and not others. We honor our students and our colleagues. We see you, we value you, and we appreciate you. So to learn more about Unit 4's LGBTQIA 2S+, Task Force, please visit our website if you want more information. Okay. Also, just a little few reminders. It's summertime, so Unit 4 is serving summer meals. So we want to make sure that our students um, are receiving meals over the summer and through this program. So um, program, the meals are provided to all students um, or, or children without charge. Meals will be provided on a first-come, first-served basis at seven sites. We've got Bottenfield, BTW, Dr. Howard, Stratton, IPA, Franklin Steam Academy, and Central High School. So if you're looking for a food, meals, whatever, check out these locations, and we'll also have this posted um, on our website. And the sites will be closed on June 19th and July 4th. So we're celebrating... Um, um, the 4th of July and also Juneteenth, so the sites will be closed on those dates. Um, kindergarten. Kindergarten, get your student registered. Kindergarten registration closes on June 23rd. Um, there's more information here. You um, Please contact the schools. Please follow the, the process for our student assignment process and so we can get all of our students um, uh, signed up and registered for class. The sooner we have those completed, the sooner we can get the class list and we can get everything done and ready. So visit our website for instructions and additional information. We have an amazing new graphic um, there for you to follow how to, to utilize the um, student assignment process. So we're really excited about that. So get your kindergarten students registered today, please, and thank you. So also, with that being said, if your child is returning for the 23-24 school year, if they're not in kindergarten or if they are in kindergarten, whatever grade they happen to be in, please get them registered. All students and families must register. Families of returning students were sent a SNAP code um, via a primary guardian email a while back. Please use your SNAP code to register your child. If you um, are new to the district, visit our website for instructions, and we look forward to providing exceptional educational experience to your children. So please get your child registered. And also, Monday is Juneteenth, but there's a big Juneteenth block party um, provided by MTD. It's going to be at the Illinois Terminal this Friday, um, June 16th at 5 p.m. So please join us for the MTD Juneteenth block party. This is a family-friendly event. 
will begin at 5. Um, you will have an opportunity to go inside and the terminal and view the beautiful artwork from our BTW students. Um, there will be a mobile history exhibit inside MTD's Juneteenth bus. Um, so there's going to be, I believe, some food trucks as well um, and DJs and some poets and poetry going on. And I'm going to tell you right now, I looked at the, the MTD bus with uh, Black History, um, the mobile history exhibit on it. I just want to ride the bus <laughs> because it is beautiful. So if you get a chance to check it out, please do so. Um, it's, it's really exciting. And 2023 summer hours. We're utilizing our summer hours. They began um, June 5th and they will end on July 21st. So Monday through Thursday, buildings will be open from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and only by appointment on Fridays. This is partly so that we can have um, our administrators and our um, office managers, secretaries and others have a little bit of time for a little downtime as well. So it's very important to me that they spend some time taking care of themselves, but we also want to be, make sure we're available to the public. Thank you.